Yo, what up, y'all? All right, so coming up here, man, Apple is rumored either on the 30th or the 31st is set to announce some new products that's going to be coming out this year after just announcing a new iPhone 15 lineup just a couple weeks ago with Apple finally giving us that USB-C that we've all been waiting for. Now, next week at the surprise Apple event, we could possibly see some new iMacs, some iPads, and a bunch of other stuff that we're going to talk about, so let's get to it. All right, so the first product that's rumored to actually be discussed at the surprise event just before the holiday season kickoff, because I already know if you've been in Walmart, if you've been in Target, Costco, wherever you guys shop at, hey, Christmas trees is out, baby. Like, tis the season. <laughs> so we expected, man, to see an all-new 24-inch iMac announced at this event. Now, here's some of the things that I, I guess I would personally like to see be added to this new 24-inch iMac. Now, the first thing being the new M3 chip instead of them actually putting the M2 chip in it, which I guess technically would have been the next logical jump from the M1 chip that they had in the last gen of the 24-inch iMac that was announced literally over three years ago. Now, when it comes to the colors, I feel like the color that they had on the previous model was cool but i would actually like to see them add the natural titanium color that they gave us on the iphone 15 pro as well as the pro max series and also give us a space gray option too man because you know that silver is cool but it ain't space gray now when it comes to the internal storage i would like them to actually make the options only one terabyte and up getting rid of that 256 gig as well as the 512 gigabyte option then when it comes to the front facing camera i think if they add a center stage feature to this i think it would actually be dope now if you guys don't know what that is it's basically a feature where if you guys are using like a video call or something like that wherever you guys move around the frame is going to always keep you guys centered on the camera also if they could throw in face id on it i think that would be dope because i think think about it y'all i feel like it would just make more sense because the camera is like right there in front and if i can just look at it bam unlock my machine and then i'm in there like how dope would that be? Like, come on, Apple, make it happen, baby. <laughs> now, another thing that I feel like would be dope if they added Wi-Fi 7 to this, uh, because I feel like it would just future-proof it since we probably won't see another update to this machine until year 2026, since this seems to be more of like a three-year cycle updated product line. And the last one is more of kind of like a wish, and I would actually like to see them maybe step it up a size to possibly give us like an iMac Pro model that's gonna have maybe a larger display around 28 to 32 inches now i'm not saying there's anything wrong with like the 24 inch imac but as for somebody like me who's coming from like i got two 34 inch ultra wide monitor monitors that's right behind the camera here like it would be hard for me to go to a 24 inch display now we all know the larger size models is definitely going to be pricey but i think it would actually be worth it for people like me who just need that extra real estate especially if you guys are going to be editing or doing some type of creative work but besides that y'all i think everything else on this machine from the previous model was fine from the speakers to the mic quality to the build quality to even the screen resolution i felt like everything was pretty much quality and top tier and uh, i don't really think there's too many changes that need to be made to it Now the next product that we could possibly see at the surprise event are new 14 inch as well as 16 inch MacBook Pro models with the new M3 chip in it. Now this could actually be something that may or may not actually be announced since Apple did pretty much just give us new MacBook Pros uh, that came out this past January. But I would say this, hey, don't put it past Apple, man, because, hey, they've been cooking lately. So, hey, all I'm going to say is, hey, let them cook. <laughs> now, as far as someone who uses an M1 Pro MacBook Pro, I have a couple things that I would actually like to see them actually improve upon. The first one would obviously be for them to include the latest M3 chips in it. So, so I'm expecting them this year to actually include two new versions of each size so we can see a 14-inch M3 Pro as well as an M3 Max chip model, and then we could also see a 16-inch model of the M3 Pro as well as M3 Max chip on that model as well. Now, I'll be honest, as a person who has the 15-inch M1 MacBook Pro, I feel like the 15 inch size is like the sweet spot when it comes to laptops in general because the 14 inch laptop seemed to me at times it was too small. Like I didn't feel like I had enough screen real estate. And then when it came to the 16 inch laptops, that at times seemed like it was too big, making the 15 inch model like the perfect size. And like, I feel like it's just kind of that sweet spot that's like right in the middle and it's just 
perfect size for MacBook Pro. So maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe they gonna surprise us with a 15 inch one. You know, this is something we just gonna have to wait and see. Also, man, when it comes to the colors, again, I'd actually like to see them kind of bring over some of the same colors from the latest iPhone 15 Pro uh, to the laptop lineup, especially that natural titanium color. I don't know, something about that color I just love, man. And I'll be honest, from a pro user like myself, I'm actually kind of getting tired of the same two stale and just kind of boring colors. Like, I feel like they only give us kind of the silver and then the space gray. Like, you know, I kind of, you know, bring some of that sauce over to the MacBook Pro land that you pretty much given everything on the MacBook Air lineup. Like, you know, we like colors over here too. <laughs> now, as far as the internal storage, right? Like I would actually like to see them kind of get rid of that 512 gigabyte option and just make the one terabyte option like the base model going forward. Because as you guys know, applications are getting larger, uh, workflows are getting bigger. And I just feel like for people who are pro users, 512 gigabytes is just not enough. And I just feel like one terabyte should just be at this point, it should just be the line drawn in the sand and just let it be the standard and base model. Now this next thing I wanna talk about is kind of like a big ass, but I just wish that they would give us one more Thunderbolt 4 port on the right side of the laptop. Like I love having two on the left side of my laptop, but I just feel like just even it out, Apple. Like give us one more on that right side because I do have some things that I would love to be able to connect up to it. And I just feel like with the whole M3 that they given us, I just feel like it should easily be able to support that. Also, another thing, Wi-Fi 7 is also something that's you know becoming prevalent today, and I just feel like this is something that I would love to see them add because, again, this is not a huge deal breaker, anything like that, since most people, like generally, you know, they don't update their laptops for a while. I just feel like this will be something to just future-proof those as well. Now, same thing like I mentioned earlier with the cameras on the iMac, I would actually love to see them bring over Face ID finally and get this added to the laptop lineup, uh, as well as as center stage to it to be able to mix this into the laptops as well. Also, we could actually see slight improvements to the display with Apple actually giving us more efficient mini LED panels. But other than that, y'all, I just feel like these will be some real solid updates to the MacBook Pro lineup heading into this holiday season flowing into 2024. Mm -hmm. Now this next product that they could potentially announce is something that I think I'm the most hyped for only because when I tested out the first iPad mini y'all, I promise y'all I fell in love with this tablet. But since I already had an iPad Pro, I decided not to keep it at the time. But ever since I returned that thing, oh y'all I've been missing it every single day because it is legit the perfect size tablet. Well, the reason why I'm bringing this up y'all is because we could actually see three new iPads announced next week alongside the MacBook Pros as well as iMacs. So the ones that's in the works potentially are gonna be the new entry level iPad, a new iPad Air model, as well as a revised iPad mini, which I think I'm the most hyped for. And there's a special one too that I wanna kind of bring up too, and that could be revisiting the iPad Pro because honestly, it's been a while since we've actually saw an update to that, but we're gonna get to that here a little later in this video. So the first thing I wanna go ahead and start off talking about, and that's gonna be the iPad mini. Now, here's some of the things that I would personally like to see them update when it comes to this iPad. The first thing, the processor. Like, I would love to see them actually add a, uh, the M2 or the M3 chip into this iPad mini, kind of similar to what we got when it comes to the iPad Air, which we're gonna talk about that here in a second. Uh, but I just want that kind of same level of performance across the board. Now, when it comes to the colors, I'm actually okay with the color options that they have for the mini. Like, I don't really think a lot of that really needs to change here. Now, the next thing is storage. I would actually bump the base up to 256 gig with a 512 gigabyte option and maybe up to one terabyte as well. Now, obviously one terabyte is gonna drive that price up. Uh, maybe into iPad Pro territory, but you know, it's your money, it's your pockets, you do what you want. <laughs> now, when it comes to the screen, I would actually like to see this be just a little bit brighter, uh, especially whenever I'm in direct sunlight, I felt like the 500 peak brightness just really wasn't enough. So if they could bump this up to 600 nits brightness, I think that would definitely be suffice enough whenever you guys are outside in direct sunlight. And the last thing that I feel would actually be dope, man, if they actually start adding this to all of the iPad models, and that is an action button, the same action button that that we got on the Apple Watch Ultra and the same one we got on the new iPhone 15 series. The action button, y'all, I'm telling you right now, it is a game changer, especially if you guys pair it with shortcuts. Man, I'm telling you, you can do all kinds of stuff with that button. And the last thing I would like them to give us is Wi-Fi 7 connectivity to be able to future-proof this, just like I mentioned when it comes to the iMacs. Oh, and I almost forgot. 
I'm assuming that each iPad model is also going to be compatible with the newly launched Apple Pencil. That's going to be less expensive option for those Apple users that are out there. Now, when it comes to the new entry level iPads, now I feel like this is be the 11th gen, which is like, damn, like crazy that it's that many like generations of iPad, like, and the fact that they still going strong, hey, that's a testimony to Apple, man. But when it comes to the chip, I'd expect us to actually get either the M2 or the M3 chip in this with a liquid retina display. We also get the new Apple Pencil support and hopefully they're gonna give us some new color options because I'll be honest with y'all, I've never really been a fan of the color choices when it came to those entry level iPads. I just always felt like they were just like the bold color choices that they didn't really want to give to the other iPad models and maybe test them out here or whatever. I just didn't, you know, I don't like those colors. So maybe some more earthy tone, like grown up color choices from Apple this year when it comes to that new entry level iPads. Now also internal storage, I would actually like to see this bumped up the base model, the 256 to 512 up to one terabyte. And also when it comes to the brightness, I need that brightness to be bumped up to at least 600 nits brightness instead of the 500 that we got on the previous model. Again, give us the Wi-Fi 7. I feel like they give us that. All is gonna be good in the world. And maybe like slim down the bezels just, just, just a little bit, Apple, because you know, I get it. I know it's the entry level, but the bezels on the entry level is, it's looking a little old out there, my guy. Like, come on, Apple, let's modern it up a little bit. <laughs> now, the last iPad that I feel like we could see here is the new iPad Air. Now, to me, I feel like the iPad Air is probably the most popular iPad that is out there in the market today, mainly because this was the iPad I felt like gave us that modern updated feel with an M1 chip in it with a reasonable price. As well as I feel like this time around, we actually gonna be seeing this one actually be a hot one along next to the iPad mini. So when it comes to the colors, I feel like the colors on the iPad Air was actually straight. Like I don't feel like there's gonna be, you know, too many changes there. Now, when it comes to the storage, I'm gonna actually need them to bump that up. The base model 256 up to that one terabyte option of storage. Now, when it comes to the camera on the iPad Air, one major change that I would like to see them actually do is move the camera to the side of the iPad. Kind of like what Samsung does with their tablets. Having it on the side just to me makes the most sense because people tend to hold their iPad like this. And I just feel like having a camera kind of front and center when you have it sideways just makes the most sense. Also, I need you to bump up the brightness again, 600 nits, just like we said on the other ones, and assuming they're gonna be supporting the new Apple Pencil as well. And we also need that Wi-Fi 7 compatibility and everything else I feel like on this iPad can really stay the same. The iPad Air, I felt like it was a great tablet uh, as well as a good looking tablet for them. And I just feel like this is gonna be something they're gonna keep the tradition going with this new gen here. Now, one thing you didn't really hear me talk too much about in these like three different iPads is the camera. Now, the reason you didn't hear me really talk too much about that is simply because I'm not really a huge fan of taking photos or, you know, filming videos and different things like that on my iPad because I feel like, you know, today's world, like we all have a smartphone in our pocket and I just feel like it's going to give you a much better result versus using, you know, your iPad. Like, you know, plus when it comes to taking photos and videos, it's not really the main focal point feature when it comes to an iPad. So, don't be one of those people out there that's holding up your iPad like this and you know, you're trying to get the perfect shot because I'm telling you right now, you won't. <laughs> now the last thing, man, that I mentioned was about the iPad Pro. Now it is rumored that we could possibly, possibly see Apple actually give us its first OLED display in the iPad series. Now this is definitely gonna be something that's gonna be welcome for people like myself who like to play games on them or especially like to watch movies on a tablet because one thing, especially like with TVs like the one I have here behind me, OLED definitely gives you deeper blacks which is definitely gonna enhance your viewing experience as well as you get better contrast uh, ratios as well, whether you guys are watching movies or whether you guys are playing games on your iPad. So I just feel like OLED on the iPad, hey, I'm here for it. But that's about it, y'all. What are some of the things, man, that you guys out there are hoping that Apple talk about or announce during this surprise Apple event? Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I do plan on picking up literally everything that I just mentioned uh, or everything that's gonna be announced during that event uh, so I can keep you guys updated on all of that. Drop me a comment down below on what is your favorite Apple product or favorite upcoming Apple product and why. Hit that subscribe button as we getting closer to that 100K mark and I'll see y'all in the next one. Squad, we out. <laughs>